experience our own eyes, our own senses. Paroks praman, paroks gyan is gyan given to us by an authority. Like if a child wants to go too close to the fire, the father says, no, you will burn yourself. Some children will still burn themselves, but most don't burn themselves. They listen to the father. Yes. Okay. I will not go close to the fire because I don't want to. So that is paroksya. And the third one is aparoksya. Aparoksya is knowledge. Yan we acquire on the basis of our pratyaksha gyan and paroksh gyan. We have some pratyaksha gyan, we have some paroksh gyan. On, this, on the basis of this knowledge, we acquire some more knowledge. Gradually maturing into learning more. Teach the child how to add two to two, three to three. And then they will know how to add four to four. You teach the child, okay, how to add uh, three numbers to three numbers, three, three digit numbers to another three digit number. Then, if you give them four-digit number, they will add the four-digit number on the same principle as three-digit number to a three-digit number. Now, there's a four-digit number to a four-digit number. That is, upper oaks. I wasn't taught that, but matured into learning, gaining that knowledge. The fourth kind of gyan is adokshadya gyan. Adhokshaja Gyan is completely beyond the ability of my senses. Beyond my ability. I cannot. I, there, there's just no way I can think of this. No way I can see this. No way I can learn this. It is just Adhokshaja. That is also name of Krishna. It's also name of Jnana, Adhokshaja Jnana. And then fifth and the final kind of Jnana is Aprakrata Jnana. Aprakrata Jnana is 